everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, Emily came over. She, actually, she came over twice. She came over this morning because she was going to dress up as a... Superhero. Superhero, yeah, I couldn't think. What is it that she, she was Superman, so she or Supergirl, so she had needed a superhero um, shirt, and I happened to have one because last year... I think it was last year. I was a super, or the year before, I was yeah, superhero. Because last year I was a imp incredible. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, but when she was here, she mentioned because we were watching Voon. Hi Voon, we were watching you, and you said you were making shepherd's pie, and she says to me, "That's not shepherd's pie. It doesn't have lamb in it." Apparently. She was watching Chef Ramsay, and he was ranting and raving about how they had shepherd's pie on the menu. By the way, your shepherd's pie looked really good. So I call it shepherd's pie also, even though Emily disagrees. But apparently Chef Ramsay was complaining because they had shepherd pie on the menu at the restaurant that he was trying to get started up again. And he said, he said that um, it has no lamb in it, so it can't be called shepherd's pie. He said it's supposed to be called cottage pie. I had never heard that before, but apparently it's a thing. If you have beef in it. Yeah, if you have beef, it's called cottage pie. If you have lamb in it, then it's called shepherd's pie. So I learned something new today. And, I, and there's something else I learned, too, because she comes with a lot of information. She's really funny. Um, but anyway, she was watching a Canadian show or something. I don't know what she was watching. Some cooking something guy. Something with cooking. And he, had, he, had, he was making a Bloody Mary. And he kept calling it a Bloody Mary. And a lot of the Canadians were saying, that's not a Bloody Mary. And the reason they were um, not thinking it was a Bloody Mary, because it had clam juice in it. Apparently... In Canada, they do have a Bloody Mary that has clam juice, but it's not called Bloody Mary. It's called a Caesar. So, but in America, or the U.S. and the States, we don't have a Caesar. We just call it Bloody Mary. So, that's something I learned today, too, about the drink. So, if you're in Canada and you want a Bloody Mary, better watch out. Because you're not going to get what you think you're going to get. Yeah, if you want it with a clam juice, mm, you got to order Caesar. Caesar. Order Caesar. Because otherwise you won't get it like you want it, I guess. I don't know. I don't drink a Bloody Mary. It's, to me, it's like tomato juice with, a, with um, a celery stalk in it or something. And I saw one today where they were doing the celery stalk and... They had scallops and shrimp. It was really pretty. And they put that on a skewer and put it into the drink. And then um, I put a little umbrella. It was adorable, actually. It looked very tropical. Very, very, like you were on vacation kind of drink. But I wouldn't have drank it. Well, I'm going to put in a little video right here about my plastic art books. Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet, wanted to see them a little closer. So I'm going to show you them a little closer. I hope I don't make you dizzy with this little video. It was rather hard. I tried doing it twice, in fact, but the dog got in the way the first time, so then I had to do it again. So I hope you enjoy. Yesterday, I showed my plastic art books, and Pamela wanted to see them a little closer from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. So I'm going to show you the books closer today.
I am so glad I found those plastic art books. And Jim smiling, <laughs> <laughs> smiling at me. <laughs> like, what is she gonna say now? I have no idea what I'm gonna say now. All all I know is I'm glad I found those books, and I have made a few things that are in them. I actually made the wine decanter things. I gave, I gave. It was not wine in there. I gave sparkly grape juice because we can get sparkly grape juice really good here because of Welch's. So I put sparkly grape juice in in the container instead of wine. And Jim used to make wine, and then we used to give that wine away too. But lately, it was at that time, it was only the sparkly grape juice. That was before I was, it was making It was before you were making wine, yes. So that's it. And he doesn't make wine anymore, so if you're wondering, no, he doesn't make <laughs> wine anymore. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So have a great night, or a great day, great whatever. Great bye. Bye! <laughs>